Hey you guys, so I asked five of my young friends at ages 25 to 35 what they thought about body count and if body count is a real thing among younger people and something that people worry about. And all of them were asking me, what do you mean body count? What is that? Are you talking about dead people? Are you talking about people's weights? So that tells me that it's not a term that young people use. It's just a term that is used by a tiny sliver of men in the space called the manosphere, a swamp. I'm going to say a swamp. It's a swamp where you have guys like Fresh and Fit who are who have hoes on, who have only fans, and they talk about why women are hoes. Like, stay away from that crap. I'm going to stay away from that crap. I thought that they were exposing me to some world I didn't know about because I grew up very sheltered, but they're um, a radicalized, radicalized group, I'm going to say, because their views of women and relationships are so damaged. Um, one of the couples, they've been married, I want to say a couple years now, actually told me that neither she nor her husband had ever asked each other about the number of past sexual partners they had. I think the number is probably pretty low, but the fact that they'd never asked, like they never thought of asking each other, like it was never a deal, is very interesting to me because why is it so important to some people? And they're in a monogamous relationship, which I really admire. Like I go to them for advice. And they are just like, well, we just assumed that we each had other sexual partners or other partners while we were broken up. Like it wasn't a deal. So that's it. That's all I want to say about this topic anymore. From now on, any topics that have to do with words that are thrown around by the fringe manosphere swamp, I don't even want to deal with that anymore. Um, I'm glad that I delved into it and learned about it. And that I got to see the wounding that's there. I think that a lot of people will be better off changing their friendship circle. Because um, if men are seeing women as cheaters, it's probably because they themselves are cheaters. Or they have like a very low quality friendship circle. If you are surrounded by women who are alcoholics, cheaters, or gold diggers, get better friends. That's all I want to say because they're out there. You just got to get better friends.